everybody. My name is Mrs. Cook, and on behalf of the entire second grade team at Scholar Academy, welcome back to school. I'm going to go through our uh, our back to school PowerPoint for you. Um, this just seemed easier than trying to email it to everyone uh, individually. So let's get started. The second grade team is made up of myself, Mrs. Cook, Mrs. McMain, and Mrs. Tigner. Uh, here is our contact information. You're welcome to pause and write them down, uh, but uh, just a quick little hint. Our name, our email address is our first initial, well, first name, our last name at scholarcharter.org, not .com, .org. Um, and if you need to reach us at the school, please call 435-566-OWLS and they will transfer you to our classroom. Our goals for this year are to have hands-on learning experiences as much as possible, to provide a safe, respectful, and interactive environment for learning, to help your children learn responsibility, and to provide students with the necessary tools to be successful and reach their full potential. Uh, the subjects we will be covering in second grade this year are literacy, math, science, social studies, and Spanish. Uh, we also have one day of specials per week. Um, specials are our rotation days, and students attend PE, music, art, and computers. This week, we've been assigned Wednesday as our rotation day, so please remember to have your student wear their comfortable PE shoes. They um, request that they be closed-toed shoes on Wednesdays. Um, we'll also be having library once per week uh, this this week this year. Excuse me, we are on Monday, so please remind your child to pack their their bat their book in their bag on Friday night. That way, it's ready for them Monday morning. Here is our daily schedule. We have our literacy block from 8:30 to 11. Our lunch recess and lunch times are from 11 to 11:45. Math follows at 11:45 to 1. Then we'll have recess at 1 p.m. to 1.15 p.m. and homeroom from 1.15 to 3 p.m. Um, our attendance policy. If you are going to have to excuse your child, please call the day of to excuse their absence. Uh, vacations need to be prior approved um, and you can do that through the office. Makeup work is available for each, for each classroom. Um, just contact your teacher to do that. Uh, and they do have to make up, students do have to make up the missed work from an absence um, and extended illnesses, of course, that's something that we work with through admin. Tardy procedures. So we, ha we stress a lot that being on time is super important. Um, we do a lot, even in the first five minutes of class, and so even being five minutes late every day adds up to a considerable amount of educational time lost. So please be sure to um, encourage promptness in your family and get your student to school on time. Um, tardies one through four are no consequence tardies. However, by tardy number five, um, the teacher will contact the parent and the student will receive a U in their citizenship for the term. At tardy number 10, administration is notified um, the teacher will contact the parent again, and your student will receive a Friday detention. And at tardy 11 plus, so anything over 11 tardies, uh, excuse me, over 10 tardies, the vice principal will, will request to meet with you and um, discuss an attendance agreement. And also, your student will be assigned a detention for each additional tardy. So if they're tardy 13 times, they get the 10th uh, tardy detention. Plus a tardy for uh, plus a detention for tardies 11, 12, and 13. So please make sure that they are to school on time. Okay, so why read 20 minutes at home? We're going to be asking you this year to, and and every year to read 20 minutes at home. Um, and you can just see here on this chart some comparisons done with students with three different students. Now, student A reads 20 minutes a day, student B five, and student C one minute. By the end of the year, student A has read 1.8 million words, student B 282,000 words, and student C 8,000 words. And this part right down here is the biggest for me. Um, this student, student A, who read those 20 minutes per day, just 20 minutes, that's all, 
will score in the 90th percentile on st standardized tests compared to student C who only read one minute a day, and they'll score in the 10th percentile on standardized tests. So please, please, please make sure that you read every night with your student 20 minutes. Okay, volunteering in the classroom will be a little bit different this year. Um, we are taking various precautions regarding COVID-19. Um, in second grade, has decided that we will not have any in-class volunteer opportunities at this time. Of course, we will reevaluate that, especially as new information becomes available. However, we do want to uh, assure you that we will try to provide opportunities that you can complete at home or when school when students aren't present at school, perhaps before or after school. And we will notify you about class parties and as those things come up. As, as of right now, it's all just kind of up in the air, and we appreciate you so much. Uh, being understanding about that. Birthdays. Um, birthdays. No, no food is allowed for birthdays. We have a lot of food allergies. Plus, we want to encourage our students to be healthful eaters. So we don't like to, you know, spoil them with cupcakes, but we do like to spoil them a little. So <laughs> um, instead, we invite you to schedule a time to read your child's favorite book to the class. This will be an opportunity for you to get volunteer hours, um, and you, we need you to schedule it because you have to be approved by the office in order to come into the school. So if that's something that's interest, that interests you, please um, schedule a time to read to our class, and also consider donating the book to our classroom library. Another side note on this, if you, have, if you are doing birthday party invitations, uh, we invite you to do those before or after school. Um, it is not a fun thing to have a bunch of second graders who are just so, so devastated because Susie invited everyone but Mall Mallory to her birthday and everyone is showing off those invitations. So please use discretion when you're doing that. And if you are inviting the whole class to a party, please let me know or your, te your homeroom teacher know and th they can, we can all work together to get those distributed to the class and that way no one feels left out and you're sure they're going home. Snack time. Uh, we, do, um, we do a snack every day in our class with the exception of Wednesday, which is our rotation day. Um, so from 1.15 to 1.30, we encourage your child to have a snack. It's a good mid-afternoon break after recess and um, an opportunity for us to do a read aloud with them. Now, please remember that we're looking for healthy snacks. We're not looking for sodas. We definitely don't want anything but water in our classroom. And we want you to limit chips and things like that. We'd like them to be a healthful snack. Fruits, veggies, string cheese, etc. Okay, electronic devices. We're in second grade, so we don't come upon this too often, but every now and then we do. Any electronic device, not just cell phones and smartwatches, though those are what we see in second grade. Uh, brought to school must remain on silent mode in all classes. Man, we do not want to see them unless the teacher requests that um, personal devices are used in our class, then we don't want to see them. Please keep them turned off or in a backpack or locker. My suggestion is not to leave them in a locker, and, and as a parent, my suggestion is just not to have them at all. But that's up to you. Here are the violations, um, the violation consequences for electronic devices. The first violation is a warning. Second, um, the teacher will take your device and place it in a secure location, and you may get it at the end of the day. Third violation, the device will be taken to the vice principal, and the vice principal will, um, will call parents, and then they can get the device back. The fourth violation, you, your student will lose the use of their device for the whole term. And the fifth violation, we're not gonna, we're gonna invite your student to not bring electronics again. Okay, pick up and drop off. This one's gonna be, kind of crazy this year uh, with COVID, but just for your information, walking and biking tags will only be for students that actually walk or bike to school. So if you're gonna, so a lot of people would park across the street from the school and their kids would have a walking tag and they just walk across the street, get in their car and go. Those will not be made available to students like that anymore. And this is for any student that's that has their entire commute, the entirety of their commute from school as walking or biking. Um, K4 carpool will be in the front of the school, and 5th and fifth through 8th carpool will be in the rear lot. 
And siblings of students in fifth through eighth should also use uh, the rear lot. So if you have a second grader and an eighth grader, you can pick them up and drop them off in the rear lot. Um, another note on drop-offs. We would, are strongly encouraging you to not drop your student off before 8, 10 a.m. Um, the reason for this is that throughout the five entrances at the school, um, there will be a teacher or TA or admin available to um, take temperatures daily. And we um, are doing that in accordance to mandates by the governor. Um, and if we have students coming way before that, first of all, they're not allowed in the classrooms until 8, 10 and we don't want them congregating anywhere and um you know and having that risk of covid spreading so we just would like you to try and drop your child off as close to 8 10 a.m as possible and that way we can keep all of our students who we love so much safe okay communication is so key and this year i i'm assuming it's going to be really key uh, to having a, su a successful year you can contact us at any time. Email is fantastic. Um, we also have a classroom website where you can see what we're learning and what activities are going on. Um, those are on the Scholar Academy website, and also I'm sure they'll be sent in your compact. Okay, discipline and dress code policy. Um, the You may visit scholarcharter.org for the school discipline and dress code policy. The one big thing this year, masks are mandatory. Um, as of last week, uh, face shields are no longer approved face coverings. So you may, they may be cloth masks, surgical masks, or ventilated masks, but we are no longer allowing face shields at school. And obviously we are a, we, uh, we are a school, so no inappropriate masks will be permitted. Okay. Now, this one's going to be kind of tough because <laughs> I know this year is going to be different on that first day of school when you're wanting to um, when you're wanting to go ahead and get your kid to their class and doing the whole first day of school thing. We're going to ask you um, to try and limit your presence in the building as much as possible. And you'll hear more about that at back to school night with our admin. But just so you know, Getting our students comfortable in our classrooms and learning from the first minute on the very first day is very important. We do. We start right away. So if you have questions or you need to chat with us, we invite you to send those questions to us now before school starts or after that, after 3 o'clock on the first day of school. That way we can go ahead and answer and give you the time that you deserve um, so that you can feel heard and, that, and so we can give you correct information. Um, and then also parent-teacher conferences are coming at the end of September already. Can you believe it? <laughs> Haven't even started. <laughs> we look forward to getting to know you better at those. Let's have a great year. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, please jot them down. And we will see you on our virtual Zoom meeting um, Q&A on Friday at 9 a.m. Again, if you have any questions, we'll go ahead and collect those and answer them um, on Zoom as well. And if you miss that Zoom meeting, no worries. We'll record it for you and send it out as well. All right. Have a great day. And I hope that um, you know how, much, how excited we really are to have your student in our class.